Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very warm welcome to your 2021-2022 forecast. This year, slightly different flavor to 2020, but nonetheless, a year of immense potential, challenges, hurdles to overcome, and the opportunity for transformation and transcendence. The main aspect that is with us all year is the square between Saturn in Aquarius and Uranus in Taurus, and they're in fixed signs. So what does this mean? Well, Uranus in Taurus wants freedom, wants its independence. And Saturn in Aquarius, has a, Saturn wants to inhibit those freedoms, wants to limit those freedoms. So I think we're going to see during this year many more riots, demonstrations, protests, and demands for freedom, for justice. It's going to be very strong. There's continuing of the shakeup of values. Uranus in Taurus, Taurus are your values. What's important to you now, lovely Pisceans? So much has changed in the matter of a year. What are your three most important values now? What do you want to put your time into this year? This square for you is between Saturn in your 12th house and Uranus in your third house. This is pulling you out a little, pulling you out of your shell, getting you to take action. A square is a tense aspect. It's like having something tense around you that you've got to keep moving. You've got to do something about it. You can't just sit there. It's not a comfortable time. It's not a time of just, you know, sitting back on a beach. Not to say you can't do that from time to time. This is a time for breaking through the barriers, the limitations that you've put on yourself and saying, I'm not having it anymore. I want to do and experience and feel so much more. I want so much more meaning in my life and I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to keep waking myself up out of my slumber and wake others up in that process and shine that beautiful light that you've got, lovely Pisceans. You have a special light. Each one of you individually has got something that is so important for the whole. And this year is going to just stretch you until you pop it out. It's a great year for learning, for studying, for teaching, for sharing information, for going beyond those limitations. Where in your life are you feeling restricted? As though there's a noose around your neck. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe it's to do with family. Maybe it's to do with your work, your health. These are the areas you've got to break out. You're going to be pushed to break out of these things so that you create the freedom you're looking for. Be careful about taking on too many commitments. Keep your life fluid. Plans and arrangements are likely to change. Rules and regulations are likely to change. Governments will come up with one law one day and the next week it's something else. And you may find that it happens the same with you. You'll say, I'm going to be very focused. And then, no, you're not focused for a while. And then you come back to it again. Give yourself permission and freedom to go in and out of things, to have light structures. If your structures are going to be too heavy, you'll find that you're just going to break out and cause damage in the breakout. But if your structures are light and needed, because you need some structure, then you'll be able to sail through this much more easily. January the 7th, we've got Mars finally moving out of your second house, coming into your third house, lovely Pisceans. Mars in the third, time to put energy into networking, meeting new people, connecting with different friends, 
people around you. Good time for learning, good time for communications, for writing. On May the 15th, we have got woo Jupiter coming into your sign until the end of July. This is a wonderful time, a year now for you to begin to expand, to grow, to learn. You're really going to be challenged out of that comfort zone, lovely Pisces, but you're going to love it. You might be moving. You might be moving country. You might be traveling, despite whatever restrictions may be still going on. You're, you're, you're moving. It's, it's a 12-year cycle. And then event, at the end of July, this Jupiter goes back into the 12th till the end of the year, and then next year comes back into your sign again. So there's this focus between your internal world which you love, the escapism, the mystical world, the metaphysical world, the unseen world, and then coming out into the world and sharing more. On May the 29th, we've got a lunar eclipse in your 10th, and on June 10th, a solar eclipse in the 4th. So this eclipse is this year, shining a light in the middle of the year on your career path. Many of you may be changing your career direction, looking for a new career direction. And again, this moving, this home, new beginnings to do with home, to do with family. Maybe you find a new home or you renew the existing home in some way. Then on November the 19th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in this third house. And on December the 4th, a solar eclipse up here in this 10th house. So the lunar eclipse here in the third house, really challenging maybe some of your beliefs, your thoughts, the things you thought you could do. Maybe you can go beyond what you think you can do. So it's time to dream big. You are a dreamer. Dream what you want to dream for our planet and for you personally. You're going to be connecting up with some new people, some new tribes. You might be working in a community, working collectively, collaborating. It's an opportunity for new relationships this year. So much. And it's going to be up to you. Every time you begin to feel this sense of restriction, to say, no, I'm not having it. If it's uncomfortable for a period of time, I'll go through it because I want to break out of the confines and the limitations I've placed in my life. And from that, you will be a light for other people. People will be drawn to you, magnetized to you as you begin to push through the things that have been difficult for you. So are these easy times? No. Are they exciting times? Yes. So I just want to thank so many of you who contribute to this channel on Patreon. I want to thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Much love to you. Bye for now.